What's going on guys, Lord Iron here with yet again another RuneScape video. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe down below and let me know what you guys think. Let's get into it. Obviously, it's been a couple weeks since the Essence of Finality actually came out, so there's been a lot of testing, there's been a lot of bosses that are going down, and there's been a lot of damage dealt. So I'm gonna break down the best in slot for each class type. I'm gonna also break down some mid-range specs that you guys would see, and also my recommendation for us non-elitist mid-range players that may not have a lot of money to spend on multiple necklaces and what to put in those and then what you can change out as well that won't break the bank in certain situations. Let's start out with Melee. We're going to be going in and talking about the Stadius Warhammer. Its special ability is Smash and it does 50% more weapon damage, temporarily lowers your opponent's defense level by 30% and increases all base hit chances against your opponent by 5%. It costs 35% adrenaline to cast, which is super useful. However, it's extremely expensive, so it's definitely going to damage your wallet. But let's get into the best in slot for magic. I bet you could guess it, Guthix's Staff. We've seen a clear winner for best in slot for magic. It's almost identical to the Warhammer, but a magic version. Obviously, it's going to do a little bit less damage. It's not going to be as powerful, but it's the same concept. It's going to deal damage, lower your opponent's defense by 5%, and increase all base hit chances by 2%. So 25 difference, 25% 25 difference in decreasing defense and a 3% difference for base hit chance. Let's get into the best in slot for range. That would be the dark bow. What's great about this is it's cost effective, relatively cheap weapon, and produces a great special attack that increases your DPS. The special attack known as Descent of Darkness hits the target twice with double damage. And if you're using dragon arrows or dark arrows, which I highly doubt anybody is, but if you want to, you can actually switch it out and it actually triples the damage instead of doubles it. This special attack costs 65% adrenaline to utilize. I've used the dark bow countless of times in my necklace, especially when I'm learning solo necks, and I've been doing pretty well. I've been able to do enough damage to get myself out of blood phase. I'm not consistent yet, but hopefully soon I'll be able to get consistent kills in. I have about 30 kills or so. I would say about half of those are solo kills, so about 15, 15 or so solo kills at next. And let me tell you what, it is frustrating, but it is a lot of fun. So anybody out there that's trying to learn how to do solo next, let me know, put it down in the comments if you guys want me to make a guide on how to do solo next. For those of us that aren't elite players and don't have a ton of money to be spending on this necklace, however, I do recommend even if you don't have any tier 90s, as far as armor, power armor, or anything like that, I highly recommend spending the money and instead of getting a set of tier 90, you get this tier 90s. Reason being is the insane amount of strength, magic, and range bonus you get from this. Essentially, this necklace is almost as, like wearing an entire set of tier 70 gear. So whether it's subjugation, bandos, or armadillo, it's essentially wearing an entire set of that on top of what you already have. So investing in at least one of these necklaces is definitely gonna help you out and boost your DPS. For those of us that can't fork out 300 plus mil for a Stadius Warhammer, I have some suggestions. My fourth necklace, this necklace has come into play so many times for me, whether I'm doing ED3 trash runs, I'm doing mid-tier bossing, and I just wanna be able to stay there indefinitely. I can even see it coming into play and doing some high-tier bosses and using it as, an, as a next switch for any time you guys are using melee and you're in a bind and you, you can't fill your inventory with food. For those of you that do end up getting one necklace, you will be able to switch between Staff of Guthix, Dark Bow, a Dragon Dagger, and D claws because they're so cheap and inexpensive that you guys can just rotate through all of those special attacks whenever you need them, whatever boss or situation you're putting yourself into. That's super pivotal. If you guys don't know, 98% of you guys that are watching my videos aren't actually subscribed to my channel. It would mean a lot to me if you guys went down, hit that big red button, click it, hit subscribe, and give me some feedback on what you guys would like to see for future videos. Thanks.